I'm happy to be sharing a card with you that features the new Simon Says Stamp Coffee, Tea, and Cocoa card kit. This is the February 2017 card kit, and if you're not familiar with the Simon Says Stamp card kits, I have a link down in the video description that will take you over to the Simon Says Stamp store where you can find out about signing up for the monthly card kits. This kit is available without having to sign up. You do have a discount when you sign up for the monthly card kits, but you can purchase them individually, so you don't have to sign up for it. Though bear in mind, supplies are limited, so when you do sign up for it, you are guaranteed to have a kit when you sign up for the card kit subscription. So anyway, to get into today's card, I'm going to be using a variety of the new products that are included in the February 2017 card kit. I created this super cute Copic colored and inlay die cut travel mug using the die that's included in the kit and I also incorporated some of the pattern papers, embellishments, and stamp set that's included as well. I'm going to start off my card by creating the background on my card base. Now this card is going to be slightly different than the normal A2 size card. We're actually going to be trimming this down. I did cut this paper which is from the card kit. This is the Nina Desert Storm cardstock. I'm going to cut this down into a four and a quarter inch square card. And I'm going to end up adhering the front and back together because I'm going to be creating a window. So this is going to be a little bit of an interactive surprise flap kind of card. I'm going to first be covering the entire card base with these coffee mugs that are from the coffee tea and cocoa stamp set. I'm now filling in with some of the little hearts that are also included in the stamp set. And I'm stamping all of the images with some Simon Says Stamp Clear ink because this is going to give me a watermark effect. So it's going to be like tone on tone stamping and I don't have to pull out a brown ink color to achieve this. I can use the clear ink because it's a watermark embossing ink and I'll get that same type of effect. Now I trimmed down that card base already and I'm bringing in the interactive window stack dies from My Favorite Things. This is a square die and it cuts all the way around the edges except for this top line. That top line is a score line and it's going to allow you to create a window that opens up in your card. There's a whole bunch of them included in this die set and I'll have that linked in the video description as well. I'm going to line this up onto my card and because it's square I just need to make sure I have it evenly spaced inside the middle area of this card. I'll go ahead and put my cutting plate on top and I'll run this through my Big Shot machine. Once I run it through I'll go ahead and show you how it looks once you've die cut it. I'll take the die out and you can see we're left with this little flap that opens up and you can create a really cute little window out of this. This is fun for creating some really cute interactive cards. So I'm going to adhere this panel together by using some strong double sided tape. This is score tape and I chose the strong tape because I want to make sure that as you open and close the flap you don't risk tearing the front and back apart. So I'm making sure I use a very strong tape to adhere these two pieces together. Once I've added adhesive around all four sides, I'll go ahead and fold this over and that will sandwich the adhesive between the front and back of this card base. I'll flip it over and you can see we now have this nice little window area in the middle of our card. Now it's time to go ahead and decorate this. So I pulled out one of the little bow tie clips and I'm going to be attaching it to the side of the card and that's going to be holding my sentiment strip. The sentiment that I'm using is from the new stamp set that's included in the kit and I'm going to be stamping this onto a strip of doll pink cardstock. I'm going to line this up underneath the bow tie first because that's where the strip is going to end up being and I'm going to be using this as a placeholder for where I'm going to need to do my stamping. So by tucking it underneath the bow tie a while that allows me to figure out the exact spacing I need to go ahead and stamp this sentiment. I'm going to go ahead and heat emboss this with some white embossing powder from Ranger. Because this sentiment is so tiny I'm using the fine detail embossing powder because it's going to capture all of those tiny little letters on this sentiment. I'll go ahead and heat set that with my heat gun. Here I'm just attaching a little piece of double sided tape to the back side of my little banner strip. That's just going to help make sure it doesn't slide out of the bow tie. Paper clip bow tie is pretty tight so I doubt it would have slipped out but I like having the tape there just to reinforce it and make sure it won't. Now the little die cut coffee mug I cut from the white cardstock that's included in the kit. I'm going to very simply color the little pieces of the die with Copic markers. For the heart I'm using a dark pink that matched the doll pink cardstock. For the little arms, I'm using a light peachy color. I believe this one was E53. I'll have all the colors that I used on this little travel mug over at my blog. So make sure you go ahead and check that out. The link is in the description box below. The mouth, which is really, really tiny, I'm going to cover with R21. I'm just being careful to make sure I get all the little areas of that little piece covered. 
I also used some dark brown color for the eyes and I just quickly dotted those and I'm going to actually end up covering over top of those eyes with some clear Nouveau drops just to give some dimension. For the rest of the mug I used some warm grays to color the lid on the cup. I'm imagining there's a little sleeve in the middle of the coffee mug so I'm going to color that with some brown markers. This is E13 and 15 and I also added a tiny bit of E18 underneath the arms just to give a little bit of depth. And then finally for the rest of the coffee mug I just used a couple of really light warm grays to color that in. Because the coffee mug is so small I didn't need to do a lot of shading or to use a lot of markers to color this image in. You could also cut this out from patterned paper or cardstock if you don't want to do the coloring. I adhered all the little pieces together with some liquid glue. Now for those of you that don't want to do the liquid glue by adhering the little pieces together, you could have covered the backside of the white cardstock with some double sided adhesive before die cutting it and then you would have been able to go ahead and adhere that down just like a sticker. Because I don't mind doing the liquid glue, I went ahead with that route, but that is an option. I used one of the little enamel dots from the sticker pack and I covered the center of the bow tie with that enamel dot. And now I'm bringing in some patterned paper which is from that Doodlebug collection. I trimmed it down with my Tim Holtz mini trimmer and I'm going to adhere this to the bottom portion of the card. This is going to cover over top of the window area a tiny bit but I don't mind. I actually like that because it overlaps underneath the flap so I think it really adds a little bit of interest to this card. I rounded the corners because I felt that would match the rounded edges of the little interactive window. I used my Fiskars corner rounder for that. Now it's time to decorate the inside surprise flap area. I'm going to be using the sentiment you and coffee to go with the smaller sentiment on the front of the card which reads all I need is and then on the inside it finishes off the sentiment by saying you and coffee. I also stamped the cluster of hearts with the Simonson stamp lipstick red ink and I'll go ahead and color that with a Copic marker just to add some color to the centers of those hearts. Here's a look at how that interactive window ends up looking after the card was all finished. I added a little bit of Spectrum Noir sparkle pen to the inside as well just to give a little bit of shimmer and dress it up. I also used that Spectrum Noir sparkle pen and covered over top of the coffee mugs and I also added that same glitter to the heart that the little travel mug is holding and I also covered each of the donuts on the patterned paper with that glitter. Now you'll notice here I created a matching envelope to go with this card. This envelope is four and a half inches square and I'm not going to show you how I made the envelope if you want to know how to make envelopes like this, I'll have a video linked at the end of this video that you can go ahead and check out to learn how to create these envelopes. I used the 123 punch board from We Are Memory Keepers. But I just decorated it with some of the coffee images from the stamp set and I used a couple of different inks to go ahead and do the stamping. I used some clear ink from Simonson Stamp and also the Surf Blue ink for the little hearts. Now to close the envelope, I decided to use one of the little stickers from the sticker pack and I decided to go with the little travel mug to match up with the travel mug on the front of my card. So I'll go ahead and take that off of the sticker sheet and I'm going to lay that right along the center area of the flap and that holds down the flap really nicely and it's perfect for enclosing the card and just finishing off this whole entire set perfectly. And if you look closely at the picture you'll see I added some of the little sugar cubes or maybe they're marshmallows but I'm imagining the sugar cubes. But I added those to the front of the card with my coffee mug as well. I think this would make a cute gift to go even with a gift card for somebody that loves coffee. So that's going to finish off my project today with using the Simon Says Stamp February 2017 card kit. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and head on over to my blog for more information on this card including still pictures and products used. If you're interested in getting one of these kits yourself, I have a link in the video description that you can go ahead and check out as well as the link to my blog. If you enjoyed this video, the one on the left will show you how to create some envelopes using the 123 punch board from We Are Memory Keepers. And then the video on the right is another card that I've created using one of Simon's previous card kits. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please give it a big thumbs up, and I will see you again very soon. Bye!